Hi, I'm Ming, and I'm one of the co-founders of Sensible, and today I'll be walking you through the Sensible app. After logging in, the first screen that you'll see here is the dashboard. By clicking on the document type dropdown, you can see that this account is set up to parse a bunch of different document types, like 1099s or W2s. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on the insurance policy auto document type, also known as policy declaration pages or deck pages for short in the insurance world. So clicking on this, you'll see that right now we're set up to parse two different kinds of auto deck pages, those from Geico and those from Progressive. Let's open up the Geico configuration in the configuration editor. The configuration editor has three panels. On the left is where you would write SenseML. The middle shows a sample document that you're basing the configuration off of. And the right side is the data that is parsed out from this document based off of what configuration you have here. Um, what you see on the right side is the same as the output that you would get from calling this endpoint, the insurance policy auto endpoint via API. Um, you can also note that every object here on the SenseML side corresponds to a outputted data field on the right side. So let's add a new field to this document. Let's pull out another piece of data. And the field that we're going to get out today is the additional personal injury protection limit, which is $30,000. So let's add that field. So first, we'll add an object. And we'll give it an ID. We'll give the ID of additional personal injury protection. Um, and then the other two parts of a configuration are an anchor and a method. An anchor is what we should be looking for within a document to pull this particular piece of data. And so a good anchor for this is the words additional personal injury protection. So we'll tell, um, we'll tell our engine that we're going to match on some text that says additional personal injury protection, uh, and that the type of matching we want to do is equals. So we're looking for this, this set of the string exactly. Um, by default, this is not case sensitive, um, but you can change it to be if you want. Um, so now we'll have to fill in the method. The best method to use here would be our row method, um, since the row method looks for an anchor and then looks across the x-axis from that anchor. So we'll tell the method that we're using a row method. And then right away, you can see that this starts running and it's pulling out the entire line here. Um, but we don't want that just, we don't want the entire line. We just want that first limit. So then we'll add a tiebreaker argument of first. And then you can see now we're just pulling that 30,000. Given that this is a currency, we can also be a little bit more specific and tell it to look for a currency, uh, which will then cause, to, uh, cause the output to show some other pieces of information, like the numeric value as well as the unit. When you're done, you can hit the Publish button up here. And then this change will be live in the production API for you to use. So going back to the dashboard page, um, there's two other sections that I wanted to highlight. So first is this golden documents section, where we have two goldens uploaded right now. And these are the documents that you can use as a guide while you're writing and editing your configurations. And also what Sensible uses to test that any changes that you've made to the configuration hasn't resulted in unwanted changes to the parsed output. If you wanted Sensible to parse another format of a car insurance document, for example, like one from Allstate, we could create a new configuration with this button um, and then also upload a new golden with the upload document button. So that's it. That's the tour of Sensible. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please reach out to ming at sensible.so.